And that baby's a 40 pound bronze statue with this beautiful bust displayed on top. Red versus blue. Everything this world wants to see. Bust and Bowl lives, it breathes, and it will be in Ann Arbor, Michigan this weekend. You know, sometimes it takes a fire. Sometimes it's your favorite warm drink. But this is what college football looks like in mid-November in Ann Arbor. Everybody knows you can't cook with cold grease. And the Wolverines have brought that smoke all season long here at the Big House. You're watching the Big Ten on ABC from Ann Arbor, Michigan, as the Nebraska Cornhuskers hook up with Michigan for the 12th time in this series. Michigan coming in number three in fire. Sometimes it's your favorite warm drink. But this is what college football looks like in mid-November in Ann Arbor. Everybody knows you can't cook with cold grease. And the Wolverines have brought that smoke all season long here at the Big House. You're watching the Big Ten on ABC from Ann Arbor, Michigan, as the Nebraska Cornhuskers hook up with Michigan for the 12th time in this series. Michigan coming in number three. Has not thrown a touchdown yet. Has three interceptions. First down and 10 from the 25. Hubbard's going to hand it off to Anthony Grant. And Grant will get close to four yards on the play. Michigan, one of the best defenses in the country, ninth overall on third down. But they give up a shot down to the 40. That was Marcus Washington. It's down from the 41. Pretty gets it out quickly to Palmer. Made one tackler miss, gained about three on the play. It'll be second down and seven. You can do that. That track speed comes in handy. On the handoff, Anthony Grant over the right side. Picks up about three on the play. Look for them to target their number one receiver, Trey Palmer. Number three, Purdy going to try and do it himself. And brought down by Junior Colson. He became the starter in week five last year for Michigan. Good pressure by Oki. And it's fourth down coming up for the Cornhuskers. Last week he tried. The receivers and him just weren't on the same page. Let's see if they can be on it today. About them deep shots for the Wolverines offensively. Going to throw it on first down underneath complete. His forward progress will be marked at about the 23. And a blocker, and the results have shown. Between the tackles to Corum, straight ahead, the pile moving auspiciously in the Wolverines' favor, and that's going to be enough for a first down. Man, they got about four or five yards after contact, a seven-yard gain overall, Robert. Yeah, just watch how the offensive line moves the line of scrimmage, and then Blake Holmes says, you know what, I'm going to help you out a little bit here. <laughs> that is what you call bully football. They're trying to play it early and off. And the reason why you have number two on your Heisman list. Mm. He is the front runner. He is the front runner for runs like that. But you're going to see him do some more special stuff today. I know Nebraska doesn't want that. Though. First and ten. Corum trying the right side of that offensive line. Running over Carson Barnhart and Zach Zinter. Let's take a look at. Talk about diversifying bonds. Sounds like an investment planner there. Little play fake. Downfield wide open and caught at the 45. That's Ronnie Bell down to the 40. And a first down. He was working against Marquise Buford. First down and 10 from the 39. Handed off over the left side. That's Donovan Edwards coming into the ball game, averaging over 65 yards per carry. Picks up four. You know, he's he's we'll talk about how he's been unselfish this year as well. A little bit later. Corum. And he's not going to have enough for the first down. It'll be fourth and a long two to go. He picked up four on the play. We can get two yards. I would love to see them utilize J.J. McCarthy's legs here, though. That might catch Nebraska's defense off, off guard. That's the extra dimension he provides a quarterback. Hands it off to Corum. Picks up the first down with a little room to spare. So they keep the drive alive. Picked up four. Approaching seven minutes to go in this opening quarter. Corum in the backfield. He'll take the handoff. Lawrence Edwards, pardon me. 
Edwards with a nice gain about a yard short. I'll tell you what, they've got a great one two punch. To deal with for any defense. Johnson split to the bottom of your screen, Bell to the top. And handed off to Corn. Makes it down to about the 12 yard line. Reimer making the tackle for Nebraska. Talking about the length of their drives in plays and time. Into the end zone, a flag thrown intended for Roman Wilson. Being covered by Gifford. Two tight ends, two wideouts. Corum. Touchdown, Wolverines. The leader in rushing touchdowns in college football adds another one to his total. It's a 10th straight game with a rushing score for him. Longest streak in college football. Works out that way. Michigan up 7 0, a little under four and a half minutes to go. I had to do everything from equipment to planning, and that helped me be ready for this moment as a head coach at Nebraska. That pass incomplete. So he's taken away the black shirts. He meets with Coach Osborne, and he's listened to these players. And great to get their input sometimes and still be the decision maker of course junior Colson making the tackle for Michigan the quarterback's hands quick you just got a, a man zone read there by bringing the running back back into the backfield don't do anything stupid Purdy gonna take off and makes it out to the 27 but still a few yards shy of the first down so even after that impressive 12 yard run it'll be fourth down if they start pushing the ball down the field more JJ's completion percentage is going to go down and they'll be off the field. They headed off to Corum out to the 40 yard line Reimer 29 yards that's not ideal for any quarterback and not what you want but they got to get back to running the football and play action to throw. They headed off to Corum. And he picks up the first down with a nice seven yard run Reimer. So Schoonmaker had stepped up big time but now with him out you see number 18 there Colson Loveland that's a lot more on his plate. Corum running over that right side and brought down on Nebraska side of midfield by Hartzog. Yes yes. Second down and five. Play fake. Down the same complete to the tight end. Loveland and down to the 20. It'll be a first down for the Wolverines. Man, McCarthy threw a dart, Robert. Hey. Caleb Tanner, wrap him up and oh, does his cheek? No. Yep, the booty yeah. cheeks on the ground, yeah. man. So when yeah. the cheek touches the ground, that means you're down. Yep. Yes, yes. First and ten. Corum one on one on the edge. And he told the DB Hartzog, you better talk to the end because my feet aren't listening right now. He's got nice. that speed to go with it. First down and goal. McCarthy pulls it out wide open. Room service Wolverines. Touchdown, Bell. Man, that was easy like Sunday morning. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Easy play action pass. Putting the ball into the belly of Blake Corm. And the Wolverines up 14 to nothing. McCarthy with his 13th touchdown pass of the season. Media. Sometimes you got to share a little bit of the fun with your teammates. Especially your offensive line. Back with more after this. I watch minions a bunch. Yeah, I'm, I'm an empty nester, so we'll meet in the middle. First and ten. <laughs> Pretty going to take off. Has enough for the first down. And all the way out to the 38 yard line. Colorado State. Wolverines were still figuring out who their best pass rusher might be this year. They get a little pressure on Purdy to force the incompletion. 
Q, what's the weather like down there on the field? Wow. Looked like it stopped snowing a little bit. Yeah, the, uh, I'll use a Jonesy word. The rain has abated. <laughs> okay, but the temperature feels like it's dropping. So it's uh, mid to upper 30s. These are hardy souls. It's only 34 right now. They were tailgating. They had some illegal fires out in the parking lots. It smelled like football, and now mm. it feels like winter. Hmm. Man, I, don't, I don't know about that feels like football stuff. I, I could have football in 70 degrees too, Robert. <laughs> I'm from Florida, from Miami. Second and 10, pass complete out of the backfield. Johnson, pardon me, Palmer. So far in the game, if he can get out there in the open field and make something happen, he's got to do it. On third and six, underneath, wide open underneath, it's complete to Brown. Oh. Tried to leap the defender. The elevator went a little bit too high that time. Wow, what a play as Brown went airborne to get 13 yards. Oh my gosh. Oh, he hit him right in the goal. Oh no, my lord. Oh. That did not look like it felt good. Samer Mike, still. Mike Samer still put a helmet right between his uh I'm going to leave that one alone. But holy cow. Trevor Purdy, the quarterback. They run the throwback and underneath Vokalek incomplete and we have a flag down on the field as well. Personal foul, rough of the passer, defense, 91, 15 yard penalty, automatic, first down. That's going to go against Taylor Upshaw. But to have 33 tackles as an interior defensive lineman shows you how dominant he has played this season. First and 10. Purdy. They're going to need him here on this third and three to potentially make a play for them if they don't run the football. Purdy. Going to pick up the first down and then some slides in at the 14 yard line. Took a. Oh. Late hit and he's holding his lower leg. Mm. It was a rather awkward Official looking time. slide. Injured player. Offense. As the defender came in. So Smothers has to come in to know that his legs have to be an asset. Irvin in the backfield. It's going to be Smothers though using said legs as an asset. Nothing. A touchdown here or any kind of score would be really helpful. On the slant incomplete took a hit. As he tried to deliver it, Smothers got rocked by Mason Graham right there. Gabe Irvin in the backfield. And there's a look at number 90, Mike Morris, one of the best pass rushers for Michigan, third and seven. Morris standing up. They run a stunt to fumble. And Nebraska, on the Aaron snap, recovers the football, but they're going to lose an opportunity in the red zone. Timmy Bleakley. They get on the scoreboard to make it 14 3 from 37 yards out. That hit shows you the kind of warrior yes. he is. On first and 10, it's CJ Stokes picked up a yard on the play. And Ronnie Bell would make yeah. that catch. He's our leading receiver, third and 10 as a result. McCarthy complete underneath and that's going to be a first down catch and run by Roman Wilson one of the fastest receivers on the offensive side of the ball a little arm tackle there as well so he might be slight in his build but he's making plays out there showing a little toughness and a nice run by Corum Nelson makes the tackle very bonded because of their travels during the summertime we'll tell you more about that during the second half, quorum brought down by Reimer. He put on the good stuff. We'll talk about it right after this play, <laughs> third and two, and they're going to give it to him. Yeah, he usually is very dependable. Not sure he's going to make it that time. Sets up a fourth and short. Yeah, interesting cue that he's on the sidelines. Some OCs likes to be up top. Corum is going to pick up the first down. Ran through a couple of arm tackles. Being able to do that, getting back on the headsets when he can barely stand up on his own. Gonna have to wait though to call plays incomplete in the end zone. Intended for Roman Wilson, who made that nice catch over the middle a few plays ago. Guys to back up off us. They can't just load the box and, and not think that we can push the ball down the mm -hmm. field. They're trying to do this now and get on the same page for when they play Ohio State. Third and four. 
on the slant complete. Down to the 11-yard line, Cornelius Johnson moves the chains. Five seconds to go. Moody, pure, to make it a 14-point lead for Michigan with one second to go in the first half. The number three team in the college football playoff looking to stay perfect. Now a quick word from Cheesy. Kendra Miller, the running back, number 33. He is the key for the TCU Horn Frogs to go in, into Austin and come away with a win. It's going to be Grant again, this time stopped up right near the line of scrimmage. Yeah, after being there for so many years, and the grass is certainly greener for TCU yeah. right now with him gone. Low snap. Grant. And he'll pick up about two. They say the ball came out. They're calling fumble or not, maybe. Ooh. Whatever they call it on the field is probably what's going to stand. It's very difficult to see that. The officials are having a conversation about it. The ruin in the field is the runner was down. Third down. Had a couple of picks last week against Rutgers in that win. And it's moments like this when Mike Morris, pass rusher for Michigan, shows up. Incomplete at the 25. Will Johnson immediately made a hit on Brown. And the defense will get off the field and get the football. Notice we haven't said his name very much throughout the broadcast. It's because he's a little banged up. They're not using him as much today as they will in the future. Well, right now, they're ride or die with Coral. Teams having to face each other. But they just got to focus on winning and beating the teams that are in front of them, not focus on one particular game. Coral staying on his feet. Patiently weaving in and out of traffic. That shouldn't exclude other brands from being able to get into those games. Five and a half minutes to go, and a handoff to Dunlap. And Dunlap stopped up about two yards shy of the first down. Between them and Ohio State down the stretch will determine which one gets in. McCarthy going to hand it off. And they'll again. move the chains again for Michigan. C.J. Stokes in the backfield. That's Bell in motion to the bottom of your screen. McCarthy finally unloads. It's caught by Bell. Let's see where they spot it. About a yard short of the first down. So it'll be second down and nine. Love McCarthy's ability, Robert, to move. Yes, the creativity here. Nebraska's been sticky on all their concepts all day. Out of the eye. C.J. Stokes from Columbia, South Carolina. They really want to get him out into the open field so he can show that to the maize and blue into the country. They give it to him. Chance to put a little money on tape. And three and four pick. yard runs equal first downs. They got to find a way to get negative plays right now. Corm in the ball game and takes the handoff. Boy, look at him move the pile. Six yards a carry and a touchdown. I mean, Nebraska's only got 117 total yards today. He gets the call again. Stays on his feet. Carrying guys for another first down. Blake Corum. Nebraska wish they had a Blake Horn, don't they? No doubt. First and goal. McCarthy, predetermined quarterback run. Touchdown, Michigan! Man, J.J. McCarthy popped that clutch and had another gear to hit and sprinted in for the score. That's his third rushing touchdown of the season. The fifth of his career. And the anguish etched across the countenance of the faces of the Nebraska nation. The number three team in the college football playoff standings. Cruising right now. So you get to see the offensive line running to the outside. And what happens for J.J. McCarthy? It's like, all right, hey, nope, this guy's not going to make the play. This guy's not going to make the play. Not him either or him. We got a body for a body. And then J.J. just gets to say, hey, hey, to the end zone. He's got a nice vision, easy money. Jump man, jump man, jump man. Mm. <laughs> that boy up to something. Yeah, uh, buddy. 
With seven total first downs. Fumbled snap. And a malfunction at the junction that time for Nebraska. Really unlocks the entire field for them, and they are missing him desperately. They run a little draw play. Johnson. Nice gain out to the 41 yard line, eight yard gain. Nebraska. Talk to us about the responsibility that that carries. A pass incomplete, almost picked off at the 45, intended for Palmer. Rod Moore almost had himself an interception for Michigan. Hey, somebody, He's been his whole time. Like that Drake song, No Friends in the Industry. Relies on family. First and ten. Nice run by Stokes. And Stokes out to the 43. Nice. In tough against one of the top running teams in the country. McCarthy hands it off. Stokes again. They crease that front. And another first down for the Wolverines. This time, C.J. Stokes in the Wolverines' favor. Keep it on the ground again. Stokes again, patiently weaving his way around his blockers, behind his blockers, disemboweling that defensive front again to the tune of 14. Mark, it was almost like they just said, let's go with a wave left. And look at him move the line of scrimmage. He doesn't even get touched till he's like 10 yards down the football field. It's because he decided wow. to touch the yeah. defensive lineman with a stiff arm. Gash comes in the ball game now. Michigan with 236 yards on the ground to just 67. And they dial up another running play. Gash with a nice gain of about four. Let's go down to Quint. Like from line. Quint, we saw the video from this past summer. You could see the changes in their bodies. McCarthy on the move. Hits his target, Bell, still on his feet. Bell inside the 10, lost the ball. Still not recovered, loose, waiting for a call. The whistle goes. Bell lost the ball going into the end zone. It did not appear as if he had crossed the line yet. And now they say touchdown, Michigan. <laughs> Anthony on the bottom of the pile. The road on the field is a touchdown. Andrell Anthony retrieved the loose ball in the end zone. Let's take another look. You see J.J. McCarthy makes the throw to Ronnie Bell, and he breaks the tackle off of the Jr. The field, there was a fumble into Stays the end zone, in recovered by Michigan. Has all the bells and whistles on this run, trucks a guy, then he's going to reach the ball into the end zone and fumbles it, and then, oh, there's a scrum, a scrum at the bottom, and Andrew Anthony comes up the with the football. The and they're going to review it because, I mean, this one's going to be interesting. Down. But Ronnie Bell, ooh. Great hand walk there. Tiptoeing on the sideline. Twinkle toes, right? Yeah, I got, I got power too, buddy. Then he's trying to go ring the bell, put the ball in the end zone. It comes loose. Mm. And this right here, if this stands and Andrew Anthony is the one that recovers this, this is what we call a HBO type of moment. Help a brother out. <laughs> The call on the field stands, and Michigan goes up 31 to 3. So obviously there was not indisputable video evidence to overturn the call on the field on that fumble by Bell as he went into the end zone. Media, timeout. Yeah, so you see as the ball is being fumbled in the end zone, it looks right there like it may have been out of bounds. But what the ref said is that the call well, stands, not that it was confirmed. That means they didn't have indisputable video evidence to say whether or not the ball was out of bounds or not. But hey, Andrew Anthony saved the bell right there. That's one team. You can get snake bit. Yeah. They don't want that to happen. Smothers, smothered, and sacked by Mason Graham. Quinn has more on the brain trust of Michigan. November. Out of the backfield complete, but down immediately to Trey Palmer. These guys, they're not defeated, but they are demoralized, and they have to find a way to get that spark back for the rest of the season. Smother steps up and brought down as he stepped up. He'll gain about two yards. 
Good pressure up front by Chris Jenkins. Mike Morris, number 90, was also in the vicinity. All right, 5.52 to go. And Davis Warren in a quarterback now. Hands it off to C.J. Stokes, who picks up another first down. Q, tell us more about uh, the family. Yeah, me and she understands the competitive mindset. I, I guarantee a, a decade from now, we're going to be reading and hearing about her as a head coach. Oh, yeah. They rub it on their feet or something? No, they no. They burn the cane fields out there. Oh, okay. And it's sugar cane season. Pass complete. And they move the chains or close to it again. Tyler Morris. Here we go. Javier Dunlap. In the backfield on the carry. Met by a gang of tacklers, gain of a few on the play. Cleveland in the ball game at tailback. Three and a half minutes to go. Davis Warren on the move. Oh. Boy, nice grab by Loveland. A lovely grab inside the 30 and the run afterwards. Coach said, hey, he earned the right to be the true backup, and now you see him out there playing his cell off. Running straight ahead, that's Leon Franklin. I mean, he even had the, the pants tucked into the shoe right there. He just swag is all off. <laughs> Second and seven into the boundary. This is Gash again. You know, I'm just disappointed we didn't get it. Quarterback at TCU was actually committed and thinking about coming to Nebraska yeah. and ultimately decided to go to TCU. And now he's balling out for the Horn Frogs. Nebraska's got to find their quarterback. Obviously, they're going to have to find whoever their coach is going to be. That's 430 Pacific also on the app. This field goal is good. Mm. With 117 to go and. Uh, <laughs> somebody's excited about it. Maybe he'll be able to conference play. It was an unremitting task taking on the number three team in the country in Michigan. Devoid of your. Starting quarterback Casey Thompson Purdy got hurt Smothers came in battled but not enough against Jim Harbaugh and JJ McCarthy and the Wolverines whose defense was impenetrable and impervious today giving up just three points. Wow just what I said 2006. And, and on that collision course. That defense allowed Michigan's offense to just run over yet another opponent. Blake Corum has another Heisman-worthy performance. 162 yards today. His fifth highest rushing total of the year because the man has ran for 273 yards. TCU in Texas. For Quinn Kessenick, Robert Griffin III, our entire talented crew behind the camera, you never get a chance to say, I'm Mark Jones. Right now, back to the studio. Who's got it better than us? No!